This time I'm going to do a little rundown of my November monthly favourites. Um, I haven't actually done a favourites video before but I actually really like watching them so I thought it would be quite nice to do for November. Um, the only reason I've never done them before is that my schedule's a bit all over the place um, and I haven't really had time. And I thought it'd be a bit stupid to do sort of an April favourite and then not do one until another because you run out of time. But um, why not? I'll dive straight in and I'm going to do first up is um, it's the trio of ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. It's only a fairly recent purchase because um, I only bought it a couple of weeks ago from Liberty but yeah it's basically the three different um, ambient lighting powders in slightly smaller sizes than you get if you buy them in the normal size package. Um, the three are dim light, incandescent light and radiant light and so far my favourite is this one on the, well I suppose it's on, on my right hand side, your left hand side. Um, which I believe is the dim light powder. Um, it's probably the least shimmery of the three of them, but it's also not quite as pale as incandescent light, which is a little bit more like a highlighter. Whereas um, final one, radiant light, is is kind of like a cross between a highlighter and a slightly bronzing powder. It's got a bit of a sort of bronzy tint to it. So um, I'm going to be popping a blog post up about this little trio shortly, but um, I really like it. I like it because it kind of gives you a powdered finish. I'm wearing um, that one at the moment. And it kind of it powders things off so it stops it from being shiny, but kind of keeps it looking radiant and glowy at the same time. So it's a really nice, happy balance between the two. So whilst that was an expensive one, I'm still quite happy that I picked it up. Um, I got it from Liberty's, I think it was probably two weeks ago. Um, and it's about £56, uh, I think. So a little bit extravagant, but if you're going to get your good use out of it, and it's a lot cheaper than buying three individual ones. So that's girly maths for you in its finest. Um, next up, I've actually been loving a skincare product, which I'm a little bit worried about, uh, speaking of ex expensive products. It's an anti-aging lip and eye contour cream from La Prairie. Uh, it's a really, really lovely cream. Um, as, I mean, La Prairie is a really, really fab range. I've been using a few things from it. Um, the thing I'm slightly worried about is I'm going to get a real taste for using extremely expensive skincare and not be able to go back to using anything cheaper, which is going to be absolutely devastating for my bank account. But this one is really nice. I mean, I said it's for lip and um, eye and lip contour. So, in terms of contour, it's the kind of the under eye area, and then I think lip contour is basically meant to be the sort of the lines that come down here um, as you sort of age, I suppose. I don't really use it on those because I don't really have any to put it on, I guess yet. So, thank goodness. Um, but I do use it a lot around the eyes. Um, it comes with this little applicator thing, like dongly thing. Um, one thing that I think is really clever, which is one of the reasons I wanted to feature in a video, is the fact that, look, ah, it's magnetic. How cool is that? So there's no chance of you sort of losing your, your random little dongly thing. That um, It's actually really nice to use as well because it's really cool, so it's kind of refreshing when you sort of massage it under the eye. It kind of gives that cooling, depuffing thing at the same time as applying a hydrating cream. So it's a really nice combination. But I also really love the fact that that is magnetic. See? As if by magic. I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking that. Uh, next up, there's actually two items from MAC that I've been liking. I'm going to start with this one, which is the um, Her her Cocoa, I think, yeah, Her Cocoa Eyeshadow Quad from the first Rihanna collection, just with the four nude shades in it, which I really like all of them, basically. Um, probably the most frequent I've been using is this one up at the top, which is the kind of golden-y um, colour, and then this one down here, which is the slightly, slightly broad warmer of the two bronzes at the bottom but it's just absolutely the easiest go-to palette and I can see this coming with me pretty much everywhere I go because I've got a few trips lined up and I think this is going to be my essential basic that comes with me. Um, the other MAC item that is worth a mention which I'm absolutely loving is this one. It's got, actually see it's been well used. Um, it's the mineralized blush in Lord to Love, which is from the Christmas collection. So it's, I mean, the packaging is pretty similar. It's just got the gold writing instead of silver, so it's ever so slightly different. But um, this colour is absolutely beautiful, and it's a kind of, it's good for pale skin. I don't think it works necessarily as well if you've got a tan or sort of darker toned skin. Uh, but it's a kind of peachy pink colour. It's mineralized, so it's got that ever so slight sheen to it. Um, so it kind of works out as a perfect cross between a blush and a highlighter, um, and gives that glow, but without being too much which is really nice um, and absolutely love that one um, I've also been loving and excuse the dirty lid embarrassing but 
uh, I've been loving this foundation, this kind of proves how much I've been using it I guess, so nice and authentic which is good, is the, um, the Bourjois Happy Light foundation in shade 51 Vanilla Rose or Rose Vanilla depending on which language you're speaking. Um, this I've been, I just absolutely love it, it's a really really good foundation and I mean, Bourjois do really good um, affordable foundations so if you're ever not sure where to start in sort of high street definitely recommend Bourjois. Um, but Happy Light is just really, it's lightweight, easy to blend, but gives nice coverage but still looks really, really natural. Doesn't let the shine in until much later in the day. Um, I do find it needs a tiny, tiny bit of powder in the T-zone, but nothing severe at all. Um, and it's just all round a really, really good foundation. Um, if you like that sort of um, satin glowy finish, it's really, really nice for that. So I really recommend the Happy Light. Um, also been loving, this is one that's not particularly, it's not, well, it's not a new product at all, it's been out for a while, but I just absolutely adore it, it's a Jo Malone fragrance, um, it's the Earl Grey and Cucumber Cologne, um, it was from their spring collection I think two years ago, um, they did a tea collection, and um, I've just been wearing this a lot, and actually I wear it quite a lot with um, the Eccentric Molecules 101 fragrance, which I just think they combine really nicely, but this, um, it's just got some sort of gorgeous one. I mean, I'm not a huge tea lover or anything, I just really like this fragrance. It's like, it's quite powdery. Um, I mean, the, the best thing is to just, if you like the sound of it, go and see if you can smell it in store, because I know it's from that collection, but I'm, it's um, one that's still around, because it's part of the permanent one now. So, um, you can still get it, so whilst it's not a recent product, it's not out of reach, essentially. So, really, really loving the Argre and Cucumber Jo Malone fragrance. Um, also for nails, um, my recent favourite, which is one, um, I've just been going to basically the same colours over and over again. This time of year I love dark nails, um, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm wearing dark nails now. This colour isn't the one I'm about to talk about, this is um, this one from the Kate Moss Rimmel collection. Um, I think it's called Rhythm and Blues, but it is the sort of dark navy blue from that new, um, new collection that's come out, it's really really nice actually. Um, and then this one is the one I keep going to just because it's one of those if in doubt colours that would kind of go with everything and it's Soulmate by Essie and it is just a dark burgundy colour it came from, um, it was from their Festive Fingers um, I don't know if that's the right name for it but it's the little gift box that they've done with boots so there was a really limited number of them but they sent me one of those to review this was one of the colours that was in it and I absolutely love it um, it is one of the new formula ones so it's got that kind of big fat flat brush which makes them just so easy to apply and it is just the perfect autumn winter colour. Um, I have another post coming up soon on some of my other favourite sort of dark and moody nail colours so keep an eye out for that one because this one will be featuring it. Uh, final two favourites for this one are um, by Terry Eyebrow Mascara. Um, it's just a brilliant day-to-day -day product. The shade I've been using is the Highlight Blonde. Um, I think I've featured it in sort of numerous um, blog posts and daily what's in my bag type things um, but it's just got that sort of tiny little brush it's really narrow it's just so easy to just sweep through your brows put them in place adding a tiny bit of colour at the same time but still looking natural it's basically foolproof so if you're nervous about maybe trying to start using um, using an eyebrow product or something or filling in your brows at all this is definitely the place to start really recommend it um, there is of course the Maybelline option for the cheaper end of the scale, which is great, so maybe if you are starting out, maybe start there, see how you get on with the mascara and then upgrade to the to the Biterio one, because I do really like the Biterio one. Finally, um, another one which I know a lot of people have been going mad for, and it's with good reason, it's the NARS Creamy Concealer. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I think it is, it's definitely called the Creamy Concealer, I think, or Creamy and Dry Concealer. I'll check and I'll put it. I'll put it in somewhere. But it's um, it's basically their newest concealer. It's the creamy one. It's perfect for under the eyes. It gives perfect coverage. Does not budge once it's on the eye. It's absolutely great. Um, yeah, radiant creamy concealer. There you go. Check the name. Knew I was getting it right somehow. Um, but I've been using the shade vanilla. Um, and it is. It's just the perfect color match. Works really well. Again, I've got it under my eyes now. And despite being quite tired, I don't look as tired, which is nice. Um, could be just flattering lighting. Who knows. But um, that is a really, really good one. I know that initially a lot of the shades had sold out, so they were quite in high demand, but I believe that they're back in now, and if you want it, I'm sure you'll be able to track it down. It's an absolutely brilliant concealer, though, so totally recommend the NARS one. Uh, so that's it for my first monthly favourites video. Um, it's just a little rundown, I guess, and let me know what your favourites are and what, yeah, what you've been loving this month, beauty or otherwise. I'd really love to know. All right, see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.